10 Things to See and Do in Venice, Italy Grand Canal's lavish palazzi, picturesque piazzas, captivating basilicas, and tasty cicchetti create a magical scenery, making Venice one of the most unique cities to visit in the world. Venice is a must-travel destination, and in this video, we will show you the best 10 things to see and do in Venice to experience this unique gem of Italy to the full. Number 1. Take a Gondola Ride The first thing that probably comes to your mind when you hear the word Venice is canals and gondolas. Taking a gondola ride sounds like the ultimate cliché activity to do in Venice, but it is undoubtedly one of the most authentic experiences you can have in this part of Italy. On a floating city with narrow canals, horses were not an option as a means of transportation, but gondolas provided an efficient transport solution, given the city's peculiar topography. Just like that, gondolas became the symbol of Venice, and nowadays you can't say you visited Venice unless you have floated down the city's canals with a gondola. The best time to enjoy a romantic gondola ride with your significant other is early in the evening when the crowd is gone and the light is right. A gondola ride is a one-of-a-kind experience but is pricey too. Venetian gondolas can accommodate up to six people, and if you don't mind sharing one with strangers, you can book online a spot and split the cost with other people. That's a good option to have in mind if you are visiting Venice solo or with a friend. For a cheap and quick gondola ride, you can alternatively get into a traghetto, a passenger gondola, and cross the Grand Canal. Locals use traghetto daily to move around more efficiently since it saves them valuable time, energy, and money. Number 2. View the Sunrise from St. Mark's Square St. Mark's Piazza is the most important and crowded square in Venice, but having the privilege to discover it with no people around is a different experience. Be an early bird and make your way down to St. Mark's Square before sunrise. It is an ideal spot to admire the first golden rays of the sun rising behind the spires of the buildings and the domes of St. Mark's Basilica. The view will compensate you for losing a couple of hours of sleep. At sunrise, the historical square of St. Mark is reborn magically, making it the perfect scenery for taking stunning photos. Trust me, you don't want to miss this activity when visiting Venice. Number 3. Explore St. Mark's Basilica Located at Venice's central square, the magnificent St. Mark's Basilica is a religious monument devoted to the city's patron St. Mark. The basilica is a jewel of architecture in Eastern style with a mixture of Greek, Byzantine, and Muslim influences, with impressive details and colors. What looks like gold is real gold donated by wealthy merchants of the era. The first St. Mark's Basilica was built to house the body of St. Mark the Evangelist, stolen by Venetian merchants from Alexandria, Egypt. The city intended to acquire regional religious significance on top of its already established economic power. By providing shelter to the body of one of the four apostles in an imposing cathedral, Venice succeeded in its strategic goal. The unique architecture and history of St. Mark's Basilica make it one of the most important attractions in Venice. In 2019, high tides, widely known as Aqua Alta, floated through the city unexpectedly. The water reached also the interior of the cathedral and damaged it substantially. The monument is under ongoing restoration even though it is open to the public. Number 4. Enjoy a 360-degree view from St. Mark's Campanile. St. Mark's 99-meter bell tower, or Campanile as it is known, is the highest building in Venice. Once served as a lighthouse for shipping and as Galileo's observatory to test his telescope in 1609. Nowadays, the bell tower is the perfect spot for the visitor to enjoy a breathtaking 360-degree view of Venice and the lagoon. Having in mind that Venice is built around a flat area, the view from the top of the bell tower accompanied by the deafening bells at sunset is an astonishing and unforgettable experience. Even though it takes only 30 seconds to reach the top of the belfry with a lift, it is very common to find a long queue at the entrance due to the popularity of the attraction. 
In high season, it is advised that you book in advance a skip the line ticket with a small surcharge. Number 5. Stop by the Bridge of Sighs. Bridge of Sighs is certainly one of the most romantic landmarks in Venice, where couples gather to take a photo and capture their intimate getaway in Venice. But the history of the bridge is rather dark and scary. Constructed in 1600, the Bridge of Sighs was built to connect the Doge's Palace to the prison across the canal and transport directly the prisoners from the trial to their cells. Gazing out of the window, prisoners were enjoying the last view of beautiful Venice before going behind the bars, sometimes even for a lifetime. Despite its truly dark history, the Bridge of Sighs is nowadays one of the most photographed and romantic landmarks in Venice. Can you resist taking a selfie in front of this famous bridge? Number 6. Visit the Doge's Palace Walking among magnificent palaces and architectural masterpieces is a common scene in Venice. The Doge's Palace is one of the most important architectural treasures on the waterfront of Venice. It is a splendid Gothic structure dating back to the 10th century. The palace used to be the most emblematic political and financial hub in Europe, since it served as the residence of the Doge of Venice, the supreme authority of the Republic. Nowadays, the Doge's Palace is transformed into a museum, attracting the crowds by displaying the rich history, arts, and culture of Venice. Number 7. Stay in a Former Palace Yes, you heard right. In Venice, you can indulge yourself in the royal lifestyle by booking one of many former palazzi of noble Venetian families, turned into hotels for visitors with high standards, and all these without breaking the bank. In Palazzo hotels, the aristocratic residents of yesterday have been replaced by the international eclectic visitors of today who don't settle for anything less than the best the city has to offer. Imagine staying in a spacious chamber with fresco paintings, gilded furniture, and red carpets, with a balcony view of narrow canals and gondolas passing by. It sounds like a dream, but it can become a reality if you choose to stay at a Palazzo Hotel when visiting La Serenissima. Number 8. Book a Ticket at La Teatro La Fenice Founded in 1792, La Fenice is one of the world's most prestigious theaters staged in the past premieres of Rossini, Bellini, and Verdi, among others. La Fenice, meaning the phoenix in Italian, is the soul of Venetian culture. It never dies, but rather keeps rising from its ashes, as it did not once, but three times since the venue survived two fires. The theater's interior displays an opulent decoration full of golden details, and a majestic 136 light chandelier in empire style all radiating an atmosphere of elegance and aristocracy. The venue itself is as spectacular as the shows it hosts. You can also enjoy chamber music and world-class ballet. In case your schedule doesn't allow you to attend a performance, then book a tour and explore the theater with an audio guide. Number 9. Eat Chikati, the Venetian version of Tapas When in Venice, you need to eat like a Venetian. Chiquetti, the Venetian version of tapas, is the ultimate culinary experience of authentic local food even on a budget. They are little bites of savory food with different local spreads and unusual toppings, ranging from seafood to meat and veggies. The Venetian version of tapas is affordable, normally costing a few euros each. But to feel full, you have to order a variety of them. It is always a good time for a chiquetti, either for breakfast or for dinner if you put together different plates. Tasting Chiquetti at a traditional wine bar known as Baccaro is a Venetian social experience you should not miss. The Venetian tapas go well with a glass of wine or an Aperol spritz, accompanied by a chat with good friends on a narrow canal. Number 10. Ditch the map and follow your nose. You haven't been to Venice unless you have gotten lost on purpose in its authentic alleys and quiet back streets. Wandering in the city's picturesque maze of narrow passages, charming bridges, and numerous unexpected dead ends is a memorable experience for anyone visiting the floating city. 
No one ever regretted stepping off the beaten path to explore Venice like a local and discover spectacular views and local shops hidden just around the corner. Picturesque alleys, quiet back streets, and authentic neighborhoods. This is the real Venice, so ditch the map and follow your nose. Venice is full of emotions, lively during the day, seductive at sunset, mysterious at night, and always romantic. The city is synonymous with elegance and class, with a timeless beauty that lies between magic and luxury. Whatever you choose to do and see here, one thing is for sure, Venice will never disappoint you. So what are you waiting for? Arrivederci.